some of these energy drinks, or most of them have added sugar, not good for you, have all these other vitamins and minerals, which are good, but they can start flooding out other, they can start flooding out and causing deficiencies in other vitamins and minerals in your body, which is also not good. Which in turn, instead of giving you that pump, because you're building intolerance and you're getting all this, uh, these vitamin flushes, you may start feeling fatigued instead. That doesn't sound good, does it? Today, I wanna to talk about Game Sense. What is Game Sense? Game Sense is exactly what it sounds like. Your sense of the game. You preparing, mentally preparing for what's about to happen, trying to kinda of forecast the future here to be able to outplay your opponents if you're playing competitively or outplay the AI if you're just playing casually, you know, to kinda of defeat any boss that you may be playing. Game sense is important. is It's just as important as your reaction time, or you know, being able to land land those shots of yours if you're playing competitively. I use FPS as a a lot as a reference because that's my go-to genre. So, but game sense is important. We're going to talk about game sense. We're going to talk about uh, how it's related to cognition because that's kind of what it is. What can affect it, <clears throat> and what can improve it. What? Let's start with what affects it. Uh, negatively and positively. Um, well, we're going to start with negative, like what what kind of impacts it in a negative manner, and then we'll go with, you know, how to the positives and what can you know attempts to improve. So, what can negatively impact it? The first thing I'm going to say, I say this a lot about a lot of different things. This is no joke. I'm gonna I'm gonna drill, 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 and keep uh, keep saying this. But sleep, sleep is probably the one of the biggest impacts you'll have on your cognition, your ability to outplay your opponents, your game sense. So, oh, reveal, look at that, whatever those are called, reveal. Um, getting good sleep is very, very important. When I was playing video games, well, I mean, I, I still play video games, but when I was heavily competing in Counter-Strike, I was putting so much time into the game on top of everything else I was doing. Maybe it was going to school, maybe it was working, uh, playing sports. I was playing, putting so much time into the video game on top of all that, that my sleep was suffering. I would stay up until two or three in the morning and then wake up at six in the morning and go to school and then go to sports and then do all this. And I will say that was not the most ideal for my gaming performance or anything at that matter. I would, sometimes I would sleep in school. It just is what it is. I don't condone that. I think looking back on it, I would have loved to pay more attention. Um, my attitude and all looks a lot different now. Obviously people change. But um, I didn't really, I, I didn't even understand. I also slept through some matches, some competitive matches. That happens because I was too tired. I was getting too little sleep. I was just unable to do it. I'd get outplayed uh, most times. Uh, not most times, but I'd get outplayed sometimes from being fatigued. It just, my, the lack of sleep negatively impacted my, my game performance. Uh, and not in a good way. Another aspect of impact would be what you put in your body, your food, your drinks. So all these energy drinks and these coffees and stuff definitely can help, but it as long if you're being mindful of it, right? So like I can't just drink energy drinks all day and drink nothing else and expect my body not to build a tolerance and or have negative effects from this and expect to play fantastic. It's not how that works. No matter what, you're gonna build a tolerance to especially to like caffeine. And it's just not going to have the effects that it has. So let's say you let's say you take an energy drink for the first time, and you really feel that that pump of energy, and you're like you're really sharp at that point. And you're outplaying everybody. You're hitting all your shots, and it's just like it's crazy. You keep doing that, so you're chasing that feeling. But you keep doing that, and you're building a tolerance every single time you drink one. So if you do, start drinking two a day while you're playing these long sessions, you're going to start building this tolerance, and it's not going to have as much of a positive impact because. Hear thee, hear thee, you're building a tolerance. Not only that, some of these energy drinks, or most of them have added sugar, not good for you, have all these other vitamins and minerals, which are good, but they can start flooding out other, they can start flooding out and causing deficiencies in other vitamins and minerals in your body, which is also not good. Which in turn, instead of giving you that pump, because you're building a tolerance and you're getting all this, uh, these vitamin flushes, you may start feeling fatigued instead. That doesn't sound good, does it? No, it doesn't. So there's another another thing. Uh, food will do the same thing. You'll get those glucose spikes. Let's say you're you're snacking while you're playing because you're hungry. Makes sense. 
but you choosing like Doritos or Cheetos and I just don't eat Cheetos in front of your computer to ask, man, oh man, I be getting Cheeto, Cheeto dust everywhere. Make sure your keyboard is slippery. Anyway, let's say you're choosing those. That's not the most ideal because you're going to get that glucose spike. You'll feel that, that pump of energy and then you'll very quickly get that glucose crash and you'll start feeling fatigued and then your reaction time will suffer and so will your cognition. You won't be able to outplay very many people. Your game sets are going to suffer. That is, that's just the truth. Now, what are some tips? You can do exactly what I, what I said in the opposite. Get a little bit more sleep. Make sure you're, make sure no matter, you know, however you plan out your day, you plan out your day so that you can get seven to nine hours or seven to eight or six to eight hours of sleep, whatever really suits you. So more sleep, really. Six to eight hours of sleep to be able to improve your overall game and performance. And not only that, your overall well being. If you get more sleep as well, aspects of your health are going to improve, your cognition is going to improve. But not only that, it's going to reduce your your need to and your craving for carbs, which is like the energy boost. You, lack of sleep drives hunger. So if you want to reduce the lack of, you know, need for all those snacks, getting some sleep can definitely help that. And then, uh, you know, be mindful of how much caffeine you're drinking. If you try to, I would, if you're going to drink energy drinks, which I do, um, I don't think they're the best source of energy, but um, there's other natural aspects or natural things that you can do, but I still drink energy drinks, but try to minimize the amount of energy drinks that you drink. So maybe cut it down to one and only drink it during a gaming session, so long as it's not too late. Because the later you drink caffeine, the harder it's gonna to be to fall asleep. That's just proven, it's a proven fact. Obviously it's caffeine, it's a stimulant, it's gonna keep you up and the half-life on that, which means however much caffeine you take, cuts in half after four to six hours four to eight hours, whatever it may be, a range of four to eight hours. And that half amount, so let's say you take 200 milligrams, between four to eight hours later, it's going to cut down to 100 milligrams and that 100 milligrams is still gonna be floating around in your body for another X amount of time, which is why it's so hard to sleep. And another another thing that you can do is just kind of be mindful of what you're eating. Try not to, try not to snack during gaming sessions to be able to keep your energy levels you know, like steady. And if you do snack, choose a healthy snack, like uh, fruit, like a cup of fruit would be good, or nuts, or, uh, you know, a snack that doesn't have any added sugar or too many processed ingredients. These snacks are not impossible to find. And uh, contrary to popular belief, they're not overly, it's like they're not, they're not gonna break your wallet. Um, and that will help keep your energy level steady. So there's just a couple of tips to be able to push you through and improve your cognition and improve your, your game sense. All of these aspects. So <clears throat> playing the game is important. I'm not, I'm not saying, of course, you know, you, you, you're gonna wanna play less of the game just so you can sleep more, uh, which might actually be the case depending on how many hours you're putting in. But again, you have to keep in mind that no matter how many hours you put into the game, if you're not, if you're not putting yourself and your health, <clears throat> if no matter how many, how, no matter how many hours of the game you're putting in, if you do not focus on your health and wellness and your well-being, it's eventually going to start taking a toll on your reaction time, your cognition, your game sense, your ability to outplay uh, opponents, your levels of energy and fatigue, and it's going to not only have a negative impact on your overall health and wellness, but your gaming performance as a whole. So being mindful of all these aspects of health and wellness to be able to improve your game will significantly help your game in general. So if you like what you heard in this video, hit that like button. It helps out the channel. If you have any tips of your own, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear them. If you just have any, any input, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear that. I would love to hear what's going on. And if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and for more content like this and i hope to see everybody in the next video later dreamers